The man who tried to kill a Middle Tennessee police officer will spend the rest of his life in prison. A judge sentenced B.J. Brown to life without parole. Now, the ruling came down today nearly two years after the dramatic shootout. Officers were trying to pull Brown over in Aaron, where he grabbed a gun. News 2's Sarah Smith has more now, including video of the moments Brown fired on officers. A judge throws the book at B.J. Brown for this gunfight with Aaron Police Officer Daryl Tiber. He hands out a life without parole sentence plus eight years. The defendant in this case jumped from his car and firing off 14 rounds at the, at the uh, deputy and clearly had no hesitation about uh, doing so when he could have very easily have killed him. The judge also brings up the laundry list of Brown's former convictions. Theft of stolen property, possession of stolen property, a domestic violence charge, which is certainly uh, enlightening in view of what's happened in this case. Before the shootout in Aaron, police in Louisiana accused Brown of murdering a woman there. There was a, a bullet fired that struck a woman's clavicle and it was a 22, but it severed her jugular and she bled to death. So the officer was very lucky that he was not um, suffered the same kind of thing with the type of injury. This is body camera from June 2022 off Highway 149 in Aaron during the traffic stop. Tiber hit in the arm and talking to dispatch. 106, I'm bleeding pretty bad. 106, is a suspect still around? He fled on foot around the backside of McCaskill's. You can hear the urgency in his voice. God, I hope I hit him. Paramedics rushed Tiber to the hospital. I'm sorry about your car. I don't care. Yep. I'm trying not to run and lose more blood. Tiber's now back on the job and testified against Brown today. The city of Aaron spokesperson says they're happy about today's ruling. Brown heads back to court next month for a post-trial motion.